most people have heard the saying, pay yourself first. But how do you do that when your finances are stretched and you're struggling just to make bills? Stick around and I will share. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are struggling just to make your bills and you hear the advice to pay yourself first, I know for me when I was struggling that it was, I'll say there was almost a bitterness or it's more than frustration, but I'd hear the advice, pay yourself first and thought, there's no way I'm struggling just to pay the power bill, let alone put anything away. Currently, the majority of Americans could not withstand a $300 emergency. If you are in that boat, don't give up. There are things you can do to build that little emergency fund, or I call it a cushion, so that if those smaller things do come up, they don't break you. So how do you do that when finances are so stretched and so tight? There are, I'll say little tricks or habit. They're not really tricks. They're just habits that you can begin implementing. And even if you don't do it every time, being mindful and trying to start implementing these will get you to that goal. I always use the analogy, you don't teach a young child to write the letter A and show them once and expect them to be able to do it. It takes practice and it's the same with financial habits and building, I'll, I'll say wealth building habits. So a I'll just d dive in. <laughs> a good place to start. For groceries, I actually use the envelope system. And I don't do that for everything, but for groceries, I find it's just easier to keep me on track. So when I go to the grocery store and I purchase whatever, and there's 72 cents in change, I keep a change jar. When I get home, I just dump it in there. And in the past, that was my Christmas money. When my kids were young, whatever change I had saved up for the year, that was my Christmas money because I didn't have other money to spend on Christmas. So you can start saving a little bit that way. Uh, a common goal is when they say pay yourself first is 10%. And if you think about it, if you receive pay in the, or income in the way of a thousand dollars, that would be a hundred dollars. Well, if your bills are such that that thousand dollars is spoken for, the idea of putting a hundred dollars in a savings account is absurd. However, if within the categories of your budget, the B word, you can begin, I'll say, drawing small amounts. Y your change within your grocery budget is going to be a small amount. It might only be one or two percent. But if you can do that, and even if you do it I'll say monthly rather than I said, like I saved my change for a year. If at the end of each month, you take your change and go put that in a savings account, it might only be $4 and 32 cents, whatever it is, do it because it's not really about the amount. $4 isn't, can you even get a cup of coffee for that anymore? I don't know. It's not about the amount. It's about creating the habit. And that is a huge thing you can do to set you on the right path. I like to say, set yourself up for success. Why wouldn't you? 
if you can do something right now that will make tomorrow easier, of course you would, especially if it doesn't take much effort. That is something you can do to begin building wealth building habits. Another thing you can do as you progress on your journey of getting out of debt, because I have faith that you can do it. If I can do it, everybody can do it. It does just take a little time and, and effort or, or changes. And that's, I think, what people don't like is they don't want to change. And well, if you don't want to change, you will keep getting the same thing. But the thing is to change for the better. Another thing you can do is if I'm just going to pick easy numbers and they won't be accurate, but if you have a rent or car payment or whatever it is, again, say for a thousand dollars, 10% is a hundred dollars. And if you cannot do that, pick pick your car payment and it's a thousand dollars. I'm going to start with 1%. I can put 10, 10 bucks. I can put 10 bucks in of my car payment, just 1% of my car payment. And if your car payment is $650, I can put 1%, $6.50 in another account, in a savings account, don't have a debit card or anything put that $6.50 because what will happen again, it's not about the amount. What will happen is it gets you in the habit. I should clarify that you still pay your full amount, but you also allot this much over to your savings account. You're creating that habit of whatever my car payment is, yes, I have to pay that. But in addition to that car payment, I have this 1%. It's, it's a new, it's kind of like a nuisance fee, but you're paying it to yourself. This is how many companies get a lot more money. So put your six and a half dollars or $10 or whatever in your savings account and don't touch it that's your emergency fund and again six dollars and fifty cents does not sound like much and if you try and think of it in the realms of oh that's so far from three hundred dollars it's never going to work it will because what happens is again in addition to setting up those good habits or getting those to become a good habits to become a habit and not just a one-time act, it, I'll say is a little addictive or contagious, addictive, because once that becomes easy, like, oh yeah, that's the six bucks, that's the six bucks, that's the six bucks, what happens if I put 2%? Oh, now I'm, or, you know, if it's 650, then it would be 13 bucks. We can do that. Sure. And it's 13 bucks and have, I think 10% is a great goal. As you get out of debt, your mindset will change because again, it's almost addictive. How much can I save? What can we do to use our existing wealth to expand it and create more wealth? And that's what you want to do is develop the habits that can, that are healthy, financially healthy, and then use it to create more wealth. And as you create more wealth, you can bless others. You have more opportunities, not only to help yourself, but to help those you care about, those you feel compelled to assist on their journey, life happens. Life happens to good people, life happens to bad people, and who are we to judge? So as you set yourself up for success, you can not only 
keep that ball rolling and build it greater, you can help others do the same thing. Part of, that's part of why I'm here is I've, I've gotten myself out of debt and I see people in that situation and I know the pain and I want to help you guys get out of debt by creating healthy financial habits even if it's 1%, even if it's your change in your change jar, start. Don't feel like it's too small. It's not about the, it's not about the number. I always say those are just numbers. It doesn't even matter what the number is. It's about the act of doing it. So start small and you will continue to grow the numbers. And when you begin seeing the difference, it, it doesn't happen overnight. When you begin seeing that difference, you'll feel it. And I don't know the right words to, to say to ensure you, you will feel it and you'll know it and you'll just be in a better place and you'll be glad that you took those steps. If this has helped you, if you think it can help someone else, please hit that like button, subscribe, and go ahead and share it with others that you feel it can help. Until next time, have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you soon.